Hello and welcome. Tonight I'm going to be talking about another exciting Pinot Noir from Santa Rita Hills. Santa Rita Hills is just 30 minutes north of Santa Barbara and tonight I've chosen Brewer Clifton Ashley's Santa Rita Hills 2005 Pinot Noir. And Brewer Clifton is owned by winemakers uh, Greg Brewer and Steve Clifton. Steve Clifton also has his own label which is uh, Palmina. Palmina concentrates solely on Italian varieties and I've actually had a couple of his wine and they're really good. Greg Brewer also has his own label. It's called Diatome and it actually has its first harvest just in 2005. So the first vintage just came out so I haven't had a chance to try it yet. But he's also the winemaker for Melville, another winery in Santa Ines Valley and they make some really fantastic Syrahs and Pinot Noirs. So back to Brewer Clifton. Brewer Clifton has a very small production every year. They make between three to 5,000 cases every year. They use grapes solely from Santa Rita Hills and they concentrate on Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. And 2005 is their 10th harvest. So being Santa Rita Hills, we know from two episodes ago when I tasted a La Vie Vineyard Rosta Rita, that Santa Rita Hills is a cooler climate, it has the maritime influence, it has more wind, more fog, slower growing season, and more concentrated grapes. So let's see what this one has to offer. And in the glass, it has a really beautiful color, but it's more ruby red. It doesn't have the darker, heavy tint like the Levy Vineyard had from two episodes ago. So I'm expecting lighter fruit on this one, but we'll see. Wow. Smelling this, it's like sticking your nose in a bucket of red cherries and red berries. This is definitely not as dark fruit. This is a lighter red fruit, but really heavy and concentrated. So let's taste and see if it follows to the palate. It has, still has the cherries, the red berries, it has really nice tannins that carries the wine through into a nice long finish. Let me see if I missed anything. It's a little bit tartar too, some cranberries on the palate. This is a really nice concentrated wine. It's not the dark, super ripe and heavy, but it's definitely ripe, it's bright, it's red. It's a beautiful wine. I'm very excited to see what this is going to have to offer in about two years. This is a very young wine. It's a 2005, has been released not too long ago, and I'm waiting to see. I'm going to keep a couple of bottles of this and sell it and see what it has to offer in a couple of years. I got this wine from a local wine shop at $47.99 which I figured would not be the best deal, but looking online today, I found the best deals at winesearcher.com and winesap.com, and they actually start at $49.99. So go out and find it. It's gorgeous to drink right now, but I would put it down maybe for a year or two just to see what it has to offer. Have a great evening. Thank you for watching. Skål.